Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nail Nails channel. I am Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we are going to do a little bit of my favorite thing ever. Some character work. We are going to be doing Lola Bunny from Looney Tunes. Let's get cracking. So I've already buffed the nail uh, before I start painting on it and I'm just going to apply um, a layer of white uh, gel polish which is called Snow White uh, on the nail. Now I'm doing it just to kind of have a little bit of opacity uh, for this nail. So we've got the layer ready. I'm not going to go in with two layers because I think it's pointless because I'm going to cover that anyway. So I'm not going to waste my time. All right. <laughs> so, oops, I'm going to uh, use a serious black just to kind of um, do the outline of Lola. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on my palette and I'm going to be using um, triple zero three to map out um lola now man isn't she sexy oh she's very sexy <laughs> she is unreal if i ever was a bunny i'd want to be her <laughs> right i'm gonna start by doing the eyes so i'm gonna start with one curved line and then another one and make it quite a round eye if it makes sense kind of looks a little bit like a triangle but it will come together at the end okay um i'm gonna do the eyebrow first and then kind of map out the end of the face i don't know why i'm doing it this way but sometimes it works for me so I'm going to just map out the edge of the face, just like so, and then do a tiny line at the end of the eye, just like that. And then I'm going to do the other eye, which will be slightly smaller. She's got like a big mahusif kind of, is it like a quiff or? Yeah, I'd say that definitely. I'm going to paint that on. Let me do a line here. And then she's got this. Um, I'm going to continue this slightly more over here. So we've got the top half of her head done. Now, if you're not comfortable painting, uh, then cure this if you feel like it's good and then continue. Uh, so I'm going to start with the mouth. So it's going to be like a shape of a W. I hope what I'm saying makes sense, but I like to kind of explain what I'm painting while I paint it and then I'm going to do two long lines coming out of the edges of the W so one here and another one on the other side just like so and I'm now going to do a U shape underneath to bring the mouth together so just Uh, now I'm just going to add a little bit more detail on the side where the fur is so just going to do a bit of like strokes here and I'm going to kind of curve this section on here and then I'm going to continue 
the end and then I'm gonna do a little U shape under the mouth again all characters in Disney they love that U shape don't they oh yeah definitely <laughs> So we've done a line over here for the kind of chin area. I'm going to bring the line slightly down. I've got to start doing her shoulders. So I've got a shoulder here. I think I might need to go bigger. With the breasts. <laughs> <laughs> bigger the better. <laughs> the bigger the better. But that's what they say. a bit more normal <laughs> now she's got big ones guys so you know you have to paint them on then I can actually do a little bit of a line here as well right so we've got her mapped out whoop whoop uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit uh, just a couple more lines to um, paint her eyelids so we know what we are painting and then we should be ready to go so i've got the eyelids ready everything is on um forgot the tooth in the front <laughs> got the tooth here so that's like just a little bit of hey she's a rabbit she needs teeth yeah everyone does to be mm. honest <laughs> then a little M shape over here for the tongue so we've got her ready hooray um, I'm going to pop this into the lamp and then we'll start doing some filling so I'm gonna be using a few colors for this character today so I'm just gonna uh, start prepping my palette so I've got eggnog which is perfect for some of the areas of a skin, well, of fur. Uh, I've got Oopsie Daisy, which is just perfect for that quiff of hers. <laughs> and then I've got Guilt Trip for the eyes, as well as Snow White and Sirius Black. I need to add some Snow White as well. Um, then I'm gonna go in with, um, this gorgeous pink for the nose and ears which is called let's see ballet shoes so i'm gonna add that on and then i'm going to use um butterscotch and that's for the rest of the face Got a nice kind of dark caramelly color I love it and let's see if there's anything else that I need I will add a little bit of uh, this brown over here fries robe just to mix in to make um, a darker shade of brown for the eyelids and then uh, I'm gonna be using a little bit of evil queen which is a gorgeous purple that's it <laughs> okay. that's all we're using so far um, and we're gonna start filling in right so I'm swapping onto my uh, triple double uh, zero two brush now because um, I'm just gonna do some filling in and um, I can pick up more color on short bristles in a way uh, well no but for this design it just works better for me so I'm gonna start filling in with this brush just pick up a nice big blob and start painting in the sections um, with the colors that so I'm doing the hair first with Oopsie Daisy. So 
So I've got the hair done. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use eggnog and start painting this section, this bit, because if they start mixing in with the hair, then it won't look good. So I'm trying to do it in two halves. And then I'm going to do um, probably the top. So I've changed the color of the top. It's actually meant to be yellow, but I thought there'll be too much yellow on the um, you know nail itself. So I'm doing a purple top because I thought it would look nice. Okay, so I've got uh, her cute over here. I'm going to start with painting the rest of the face. So I'm going to go in with, what was the color? Um, let me check quickly. Butterscotch, I think. Yeah. And I'm going to do the rest of the face. So I'm just going to fill in this section over here. So I've got that done. I'm going to clean off my brush just a little bit. And I'm just going to paint with Girl Trip the, is it the irises of the eye kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. The so eyeballs, whatever. <laughs> eyeballs. <laughs> so I'm going to just take them and just paint a blue section over here. So I've got that and now I'm going to just do the eyelids as well. So I'm going to take a little bit of that friar's robe and mix it in to um, butterscotch and then create a slightly darker tone just for the eyelids. So I've got this gorgeous little color over here, a little mixture and I'm going to put that on the eyelids. It might even need to be darker, you know. Just checking. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put that on here. Moving the product around. Lovely. I'm now going to just use Fry's robe to fill in the top bit of the uh, mouth, which is here. And then I'm going to go in with um, a lighter pink to do the tongue area. So we've got a lawnmower outside here again, guys. Of, of course he knows I'm filming today, Yeah, no, right? of course he, he knows you too well. That is loud. Hopefully you can hear me better. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, we'll get Lucy to put some music over. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm going to um, basically do... Um, a black section on the eye over here. So I've got the eyes here ready. Uh, then I'm going to do a little bit of the nose. Right, so everything is filled in. We're going back to outlining now. So I'm just going to pick up Series Black 
and go all up, uh, over all of the outlines that we've initially painted on the first stage. So I've chosen this one for the background. I love it. It's one of our diamond dust gel polishes. And I think it's a gorgeous pink that will make it like pop even more. So I'm gonna fill in the background and then we can even do the, the rest of the eyelashes at the end. So look how gorgeous this color is. Oh, it's so nice. Beautiful, right? Definitely tell it could be her color. <laughs> <laughs> And it looks so good as well. When you put a flash on, it shines beautifully. The background is done and just to finish off this design, the only thing that's missing is um, two white dots and then the rest of the lashes. But I can't paint the lashes on the wet background, so I'm going to have to basically um, cure it first, add the lashes, and then put top coat. Look how stunning she is. Oh, so gorgeous. I love her. Honestly, she is so pretty. And it goes so well with that diamond dust. I don't know why I've not used it before on our video, uh, videos. Rude, rude. What, what am I trying to say? <laughs> on our videos. <laughs> <laughs> you can I do it. I love it. It's going to be my next <laughs> favorite kind of background now. Uh, so I'm going to be using a lot of that. You might get sick of it, guys. But yeah, such a lovely design to do. Um, honestly, concentrate on the outlining in the beginning and then the filling in will be so much easier for you. Feel free to pause in between and see uh, how I paint it and then just follow with me and it will be so much easier to paint her on a nail. And the more you do it, the faster you get. So, yeah, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry for the, you know, congested, <laughs> for the blocked nose, for whatever I sound like right now. I blame the mow lower. Yep. I have hay fever, which is terrible. And then when they start cutting the grass. You mean lawn mower. Lawn mower. <laughs> oh, I did it again. It's that one word. Lawn mower. I always say mow lower instead of lawn mower. Why? Who knows? <laughs> anyway, the lawn mower. Mm -hmm. Right. I blame it on him. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching. And as usual, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you all on the next one. Take care. Like, sorry, guys, if you can hear a lot yeah, more outside again. Is it lo moan lower? Moan or lawn mower? Lawn mower? Lawn. Yeah. Lawn mower. Lawn. Yeah. I always say mow lower instead of lawn mower. <laughs> That's funny that. Yeah, lawn mower. <laughs> lawn mower, okay.